Hello friends, this is Durga again from University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, setting up the Hadoop cluster on AWS. We have provisioned seven instances. We have set up uh, HTTP server using which we have uh, configured M local repository server. Then we have installed Cloudera management service, uh, sorry, Cloudera manager. And then we have actually uh, set up the uh, CDH5 on all the nodes in the cluster and we have configured Cloudera management service. So in this video, I will try to cover what is this Cloudera management service is all about, what all components it have, and what is the purpose of each of them. So uh, as I have explained uh, uh, as part of the earlier video also, uh, whenever there are some abnormal events happening in the cluster, it should be notified to the operations. And uh, that notification is typically called as alert. So someone has to take care of publishing those alerts. So alert publisher is the software process which will be running under the umbrella of Cloudera management service, which will take care of publishing those alerts. So as part of the Cloudera management service, we have the component called alert uh, publisher. And uh, then uh, uh, when you actually set up the cluster, like uh, in future, we will be setting up Hadoop core components, then um, uh, high U, pig, scoop, uh, and many more. Each one is considered as a service. So at service level, we need to monitor what is going on. So that's what service monitor is. It is about monitoring each of the software application that is set up on the cluster. It's at service level, not at the host level. Okay. And then host monitor. So you have seven nodes and each no each have its own storage, memory, CPU, etc. So uh, someone has to monitor what is the utilization of CPU, uh, um, what is the utilization of memory on each of the node and also cumulative. Uh, so host monitor is the one which will actually take care of monitoring the individual hosts. Event server will actually generate the all the significant events and uh, uh, activity monitor will see what is, uh, what is the activity going on in the cluster. When you run the MapReduce job, how it is performing, those details will be monitored using activity monitor and finally reports manager so all these details will be pushed uh, in the form of metrics from the agents to the uh, cloudera management server and uh, uh, it has to store that information somewhere um, and that's where the databases comes into picture we have uh, configured two databases one for uh, i think uh, alert publisher and the other for reports manager or activity monitor and reports manager um, and uh, yeah activity monitor and reports manager and the reports manager uh, act, uh, what it will do is it will so once agents uh, actually collect the data it will be pushed to the server cloud the management server and it will store that information in the postgres database under uh, rmen database or reports manager database and then reports manager is a web service running on top of that database to actually provide these reports which will help you to visualize what is going on the cluster so you can go to different levels and everywhere you will see these uh, uh, reports you can customize these reports if you want you can set what you want to see and what you don't want to see on each of the page um, uh, in this uh, uh, web interface so reports manager will serve the purpose of um, uh, visualization layer in your cluster so all these components are very important uh, in day-to-day -day operations for production cluster if you don't have these things for example if you don't have alert publisher uh, there is no easy way to push alerts to you you have to script around uh, your cluster to get the alerts if you don't have alert publisher all these components will make your life easier to monitor the cluster on day-to-day day-to-day -day basis uh, and uh, uh, this, I think these can run on uh, on different instances also. When we actually configure it, it has shown uh, um, multiple sections: one for activity monitor, one for alert publisher, one for event server, etc. So each one can go to a different node, but it is not required. We can have one node running all these components, but that node has to be a little bit powerful server. Okay. And if you want to look at the configuration after uh, setting up the cluster, you can click on the configuration. 
and uh, you can see several configurations if you want to search for a particular configuration you can start typing it here and you will see the uh, uh, details about the configuration parameters matching that search criteria we will cover the uh, configuration section more in detail later but configuration is the one which will give the details about the configuration parameters and quick links I don't think it is uh, that relevant here if you want to still uh, if you want to look at the events that are happening alerts are critical at all you can uh, go to these quick links and uh, start looking into it so once the Cloudera uh, uh, once the CDH is set up on the uh, on the cluster using the wizard if you go to the host section you will see all the hosts here and under roles you can see what all roles are configured and if you expand this on um, 242 we have configured um, all the six roles that are relevant to cloud as a management service so far we have installed cdh but we haven't configured anything from cdh we only configured cloud as a management service so that we can actually um, uh, get our alerts publisher reports manager everything configured for the um, monitoring purpose of our cluster okay so this is how you can get uh, uh, different details about your cluster if you want to know more details uh, actually cloud manager can support multiple clusters also so you can actually see multiple clusters here how many cores you have uh, so we have four cores on um, uh, seven nodes so total 28 uh, how many are commissioned when is the last heartbeat uh, what is the I don't know what yeah so whether we ha we already got the load on the cluster uh, one minute load five minute load and 15 minute load or not what is the maintenance mode it is not in maintenance mode I is there racks configured all these things can be seen from here at the host level and there are other uh, uh, tabs also which I will be covering uh, uh, probably later but for now uh, I have only covered uh, Cloudera management service after setting up and for the logs as I have explained earlier all the six uh, Cloudera manager management services are uh, hidden under these four so, I'll, I'll, so we have six of them alert publisher goes to alert publisher itself and event server will goes to event server so alert publisher event server goes to their respective directories then you have fire hose and headlamp so if you go to headlamp uh, it has the reports manager related logs in headlamp so headlamp is for uh, reports manager so we have covered reports manager event server and uh, uh, alert publisher and if you go to fire hose I don't know why they have named like this there might be some logic behind it but I am not sure and ls hyphen ltr you can see activity monitor host monitor and service monitor logs over here so these are the log files so if you don't have access to cloudera manager or uh, or if for some reason you, you are not able to connect to the web server uh, web interface you have to go to the uh, respective host on which these components are running and you can see uh, these log files to troubleshoot the issues further okay again i will review the directories so we have one two three four five and six directories uh, or seven actually seven directories um, which uh, which starts with cloudera so uh, the first one is manager installer so when we actually install the cloudera manager um, a couple of videos back by using uh, this command it has set up cloudera manager on this 242 host so all the logs related to the installation are here okay once the installation is done we have uh, uh, started a SCM server and uh, all the details related to SCM server uh, all the logs related to SCM server whether it is coming up properly or not are here and then we have set up we have to set up Cloudera SCM agent um, when we actually install the binaries and uh, Cloudera SCM agent is the directory which will have logs related to Cloudera SCM agent then when we actually set up management service these four are the directories which will get all the logs related to the management service okay 
so go to the direct uh, make sure you understand the mapping between the uh, each of the component um, and the uh, uh, and the host and go to that host go to this directory called uh, valve slash log it is a standard uh, directory if you are from linux background you will understand easily slash where slash log is the standard directory for most of the logs uh, generated in linux environment and you will see the seven direct uh, 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 relevant directories for the component which is running on that host in our case all the seven components are running on this host alone that's why we are seeing uh, logs related to all of them but you will see cloud scm agent directory in all the hosts because that will be running on all the hosts in the cluster that being said i hope you are enjoying the content in the on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time and also if you are willing to support um, if you are based out of us or uk or any other country where um, youtube support the channel or fan funding is sub, uh, is uh, available uh, you will see support the channel section over here you can use that to contribute as much money as you want thank you bye